Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to show you guys how to hack the really popular Doodle Jump game for the iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch. Now, you will have to be jailbroken. If you aren't already jailbroken or you don't know what jailbreaking is, then be sure to click this annotation right here to go to my uh, latest jailbreak video, which does give you guys instructions on how to jailbreak 4.2.1 with green poison. So be sure you guys check that out if you aren't already jailbroken. Now, once you are jailbroken, you're just going to have to load up Cydia. Once Cydia is loaded, just go to the Manage tab at the bottom if you are on an iPhone or an iPod Touch. If you're on an iPad, you can just go to Sources. Now, once you're at the Manage tab on an iPhone or iPod Touch, you can then go to Sources, which is the same exact thing for the iPad. Then you can go Edit, and you can go Add, and then you're going to enter this repo, iHacksRepo.com. And then you're going to go ahead and add the source. I already have it, so uh, I'm not going to add it again and I will have it down below in the more info too so you guys can check that out and you can get the repo there as well then what you're going to do is you're going to search for doodle jump and that is all one word and then you're going to go to doodle jump hack version 1.21 now this does actually work on the latest version of doodle jump which actually is 1.28 uh, however, the hack is uh, for Doodle Jump version 1.21, but again, this does work for the latest version of Doodle Jump as well. And then just be sure to hit install and confirm. Once you have it installed, then you can just go ahead and launch Doodle Jump. Now the first time you actually load it up after installing the actual hack, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to scroll over on this little scroll thing a couple of times. You're going to have to do it like three or four times, just go over really quick. Uh, when it's at black and it's still loading and then it will actually take you to this main screen now as you can see everything looks a lot bigger especially my little avatar right there and doodle jump doesn't even fit on the entire screen and the flying saucer is also extremely huge now this is most likely because uh, I have an iPhone 4 and this is a retina display other devices such as the iPhone 3GS should be fine however I don't know for a fact because I don't have one and I haven't tested it on one but uh, then what you're gonna do is you're just going to pick whichever one you want down below right here I find that the soccer one actually works the best and it gives you the highest score and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna just hit play and then from there uh, you just want to get up a ways and grab a rocket and basically just watch and uh, just continue to keep going up uh, once you get around six or seven uh, hundred thousand, then it actually starts to slow down. It actually gets more difficult because there are less uh, little landing pads to jump on and there are less rockets as well. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and get a close up here and show you guys that those are all rockets that uh, my little guy is uh, flying past. And basically, he just keeps picking up rockets. So that's why I continue to uh, go up. And as you can see right there, my score is continuing to go up as well now a really good tactic for this is to just uh, slightly keep it like this and that also helps once you get uh, up higher like when you get past like I said six or seven hundred thousand now unfortunately the only real way to exit is to actually exit out of the application and close out of it in your multitasking bar and reload it so I'm going to show you guys my high score that I got with this. I actually tweeted about it earlier. It is 1,223,808. So uh, I'm pretty proud of that score actually. Unfortunately, it doesn't list it in global because as you can see, I'm just going to go ahead and hit global. And once it loads up the scores, I'm not even on there at all. And uh, my score is definitely higher than uh, that guy right there, the third person. So uh, I don't know if the hack actually prevents it from sending the score out to Doodle Jump or what, but you can actually send it to Twitter or Facebook if you want. And again, that's what I did on Twitter once I got that 1.2 million score right there. So I don't know, it's just something fun that you can do and show your friends. Uh, so I hope you guys like this video. I was just showing you guys how to hack Doodle Jump. Please let me know what you think in the comment section below and rate this video up and also subscribe if you aren't already. This is ICU signing out.